adjacent to the Liverpool Echo Arena, where tonight VIP Promotions proudly presents an evening of professional boxing. We are live and exclusive on VIPboxing.tv. And the officials have been appointed by the Central Area Council of the British Boxing Board of Control, who stood in charge, sitting proudly at ringside, is Miss Sally C. This is four three-minute rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Introducing to you, firstly, boxing out of the blue corner, wearing the blue color shorts trim with white. Uh, the way in he scaled 10 stone, three pounds, five ounces. Tonight, he's a double centurion, and then some 277 contests. Not out, here is Mr. Reliable from Nuneaton, Christian Late. And opposing him, boxing out of the red corner, wearing the white colored shorts trim with a gold spangled effect. At the win, he scaled 10 stone, 8 pounds, 6 ounces. He hails from Ulverston, Cumbria. Here is Ryan Watson. <laughs> Timekeeper at the bell is Burnley's Gary Grennan, referee in charge of the action, star referee, one of the world's finest, Mr. Steve Gray from Fleetwood. This is four three minute rounds. Okay, boys, have a cold break, take one step back. Don't throw any punches to the back of the head. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck, lads. Seconds out, round one. Well, welcome to Liverpool. Welcome to the new BT Convention Centre. Evening of VIP boxing for Monkstown, we're calling it tonight. Got 10 fights for you. First getting us underway is Ryan Watson, Christian Light. I'm John Evans. We've got Luke Madeira as usual. And we've also got a whole range of guest stars for you tonight. Later on, we're going to have um, Tom Farrell. We're going to have Chris Walker. He's going to grace us with his presence. We've got Matty Fagan. We've got Masha Dodd. Loads of people. But first of all, we've got Elliot Foster. How are Hi you, John? Foster? Not How are you, yet. Luke? Yeah, not bad, thanks, mate. It's a nice little venue in here tonight, isn't it? Yeah, it's fantastic. First time professional boxing's ever been here at the BT Convention Centre. It's like a sort of theatre, isn't it? It's sort of like an amphitheatre. It, it is. It reminds me of the, um, it reminds me of Walton Picture House when it, when I used to talk go, about target markets, Foss. When I used to go with the um, when I used to go with the school. <laughs> but no, it, it is. It's a crack, crack little venue, and it's definitely, definitely somewhere that I think the. Um, Liverpool Boxing should use more. Yeah, it's been Liverpool Boxing's been crying out for a venue of this size since uh, Olympia went down the pan, hasn't it? Well, yeah, I think it was a, it, obviously it was a massive shame that the Olympia sort of just disappeared from the face of the earth in terms of its use within boxing. But it's um, but this is per this is perfect, and I would like to see it used a lot more. There we go. We got Ryan Watson and Christian Light. Uh, Christian, who had a, if you were watching VIP last week, I know millions of you chose to watch us instead of paying for Anthony Joshua. But yeah, Christian Light had a real hard night's work. Then he with Ken Garner. Ken Garner was brilliant last week. And Christian straight back in here with Ryan Watson, Luke. Yeah, that performance from Ken Garner last week was absolutely outstanding. If you have the chance, watch it back because Christian's been in with the who's who of boxing, really. And I've never seen him troubled like that on many occasions. Kane Gardner seemed to manage it last week, but credit to him, he's back in here tonight and he's giving it a good go again. In my way corner, but Ryan Watson, he's he's one on one. He's getting the full journeyman experience. You know, he debuted against Jason Nesby, he fought Yusuf Al Hamidi, who upset him in uh, February earlier this year, and he's had a few months out, had nine months out, and he's come back right in against uh, Christian Light. So he's uh, he's doing the rounds of journeyman and he'll be looking to get back on winning ways. We'll give you a quick rundown of a card in a little bit, but as I say, 10 fight cards tonight. Hashtag going on Twitter. Don't forget, you can send in uh, questions, comments, insults, opinions, whatever you want. We'll read them out. Uh, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Don't forget, we're live on Facebook, or you can also share the link out uh, for VIPBoxing.tv.
first round in the bag there for Ryan Watson, I think. I think he struggles to give it to Christian. And it's important for him here to, to get a win under his belt. And in a four-round fight, winning that first round, it's a big step towards that, isn't it? Yeah, it is. These journeymen tend to have a go, have a look for a round and a half, a couple of rounds, just mm. to see if there's anything doing, and then go back into the shells. Foz, you're going bold. You can see ourselves here on the uh, overhead camera. Look at that bold spot. Ten seconds, no, corners. It's, not a, it's really not a bold spot. No, I'm not talking about the scar. I'm talking about the actual bold spot. It's not a bold spot. It's 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 all it's all, it's all one big scar. Round two. No, I'm talking about the bold spot to the right of the scar. Yeah, still still the scar. Or at least that's what I'm saying anyway. <laughs> I'm only 21, give me a break. You've got some uh, questions to answer later, you Foz, as well, about uh, stealing chicken. Right, OK. Let me, ju let me just lay the... Um, no, let me no, 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 prepare your defence. We'll talk about that later. The, there's no defence needed because we all, we, all know what, we all know what Chris Walker's like. And um, I'll just leave it at that till later, shall I? Biggest wind up merchant on the planet. Doesn't seem too concerned by what's coming back his way here tonight, Christian, does he? You know, he's got his hands down, looks nice and relaxed in there. Yeah, and it's surprising considering last week, isn't it? Because you kind of expect him to be a bit more cautious, but he, he looks like he's really enjoying himself in there at the moment. Lives up in Barrow, Ryan. Bit of a trek down for him, but um, we've also got uh, Ross Cooksey, haven't we, from that part of the world yeah. doing well at the moment. You know, it's not been a hotbed for boxing, but if, if Cooksey, who looks the part, actually, if Cooksey can spark something, maybe Ryan might get a couple of fights closer to him instead of having to keep travel down all this way every time. Build any for a boxer, Ryan yeah. Watson. No, he's, he's tall, isn't he? He's rangy, he's nice reach, good build. Right, a body there from Watson. Late just came back with a, a left over the top. Right, step back. So I'll give you a quick rundown of the card. Well. Join this one. Coming up next, we've got uh, Sean Carney. Sean Cairns. Sean Cairns taking on Anwar Al Fardy. Then we've got uh, Jay Farrell. He'll be desperate to get in the ring. He had a bit of a late pull out last time. We'll talk about that later on. Jack Armfield's fighting Adam Jones, who always comes to fight. Callum Pearson against Naheem Chowdhury. Nathan Bennett, Andre Sipa. Steve Brogan against Ibra Rias. Colin Day against Chris Adaway. Could be a good fight, that. Colin's exciting. Chris always comes to fight. Mark Jeffers against Christian Hoskin Gomez. If you've never seen Jeffers fight before, stay tuned. He's always exciting. And then we've got Central Area Champion Ryan Mulcahy. He's fighting Edvinas Poplauskas. Easy for me to say that, boss. <laughs> What's he, what, who's Ryan Mulcahy fighting? Edvinas Poplauskas. <laughs> we'll also give you an update later on what Foz has decided to bring to a feed for masses here during the commentary stint. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> 10 seconds, corners. Seconds out. So Round check three. on the face, uh, Facebook. Don't forget VIP box on the Facebook tonight. Get your comments in on the videos. Uh, Ryan Watson coming out with a good couple of jabs and a right hand to the body there. Christian just having a bit more of a go than last week. Uh, last couple of times I've seen him actually. He's letting his hands go and looking to counter a little bit more, isn't he? 
Yeah, I think he's realised that he's landing with a few of the shots that he's throwing rather than last week when Kane was really just marching forward, picking his shots nicely. But he's having a bit of success in there. And he's turned into a bit more of a fight this week. Nick Pete agrees it is a bald spot. He would. Patrick McCaffrey is asking what time more Kai's on. We're expecting Ryan some it'd be sometime around 10 30, 10 45, depending on stoppages. Patrick, stay tuned. Right hand to a body looks to be Watson's best weapon, doesn't it? There it is again. I think you might have heard you say that. He's just thrown two in quick succession. <laughs> Ken Gardner had some success with that last week, then he? he was setting, yeah. it, setting it up and thudding that right hook in. The clever performance from Gardner as well, wasn't it? Because he was setting up the shots that he was hurting Christian with. And one of the best performances I've seen against Christian, without a shadow of a doubt. That's that right hand again, Landon. Super lightweight, one of the busiest divisions in British boxing at the moment, isn't it? You know, it's coming up late today. We've got Callum Pearson. Look at the mix we've got at the moment. We've got O'Hara Davis, due to be fighting Tommy Coyle, I believe, in yeah. December. Robbie Davis Jr., Tom Farrell, who's coming up later. Big, long, like, log jam of good fighters at 140 pounds in Britain at the moment. Jack Cotter all just beat Tyrone Nurse. Josh Taylor's up in Scotland. He's fighting Miguel Vasquez soon. It's a good division to be in, isn't it, for these guys at 10 stone? You've got Tyrone, McK Tyrone McKenna as well. Tyrone McKenna. And if you can get in that mix as one of these prospects that are just below that level, there's big fights out there. And th these fights like Nurse Catrell, it sold a lot of tickets and a lot of people tuned in to that bill just to watch that fight and it turned out to be a cracker. And There's a lot of these guys that can get in the mix very soon if they keep winning. Ten seconds, corners. Seconds out for the fourth and final round. Here we go, round three. So far, I think Watson's probably having the best at round four. So if Watson's probably just having the best of it. He's just forcing Christian back, isn't he? There's not been many clean shots landed from both, but I think that right hand to a body, there it is again. It's probably just worked for Watson, hasn't it? Yeah, he's just edging the fight for me, I think. And Unless something dramatic happens here, he can close this out and get back to winning ways. Nice left hand from Christian there. Could have one or two effects that on Christian, couldn't it, last week? You know, does it make him... It looks like he's decided to fight a bit more, actually, this yeah. week, doesn't it? Maybe a board got onto and just told him to have an improved performance or something like that. Or uh, does it send you back into a shell? Look, and like I say, it looks like Christian's just decided to come out of his shell a little bit more. Yeah, for the first time, I think it looked as if the fights had started to catch up with him when he was in with Gardner, but he's proved tonight that that's not the case and, and he can still put up a good fight and test these young prospects. Right. 
Don't forget, hashtag VIP Boxing Live. Let us know what you think. Let us know who you're looking forward to. You want to know anytime any of the guys, any of your friends are fighting, just get in touch, we'll let you know. Share the link around. I know there's a, a bill on Sky, but obviously not as high quality as this stuff. You don't get to listen to Elliot Foster on Sky. <laughs> you also don't get to sit ringside in Monaco on VIP Boxing TV. By the way, I believe Jamie McDonald's just been stopped. On, stopped. No spoilers, Foz. People record it. Sorry. Sorry. Nice little jab to the stomach. He's, Watson's worked to her body's been uh, what's just separated him from late here for me. Looks like it's going to be back in the winning column, doesn't it, here for Ryan Watson? That's a two and one. That upset defeat last time out. Looks like he's just put that right and he should be well on the way there to a, another comfortable points decision. Well done, Ryan. And with that, we're yeah, in the ring. job done. First up for Ryan Watson. He'll be happy with that, I think, as well. As we've been saying as well, I think Luca was a much, much improved performance from Christian Leith from from recent times. Yeah. Undoubtedly, Christian had a bit of a go in there tonight. Not too much. I think he, he probably could have pushed Watson a bit more than that, but he showed that he's still got the fight in him and and he can still cause these guys trouble. Over Steve Gray, over to Michael Pass for the official score. Ladies and gentlemen, after four absorbing rounds of boxing, star referee Steve Gray, can we turn the music off, please? Thank you. After four rounds of boxing, star referee Steve Gray has scored the contest 40 points to 36 points for your winner. Hailing from Ulverston, Cumbria, Ryan Watson. <laughs> So Callum gets back to winning ways. New appreciation for Christian Light. Ryan Watson, apologies. I'm, t I'm looking at, I'm looking at the running order and getting mixed up. I'm, I'm looking at Ryan Watson's name all over the front of his chunks, and he gets off to a back to winning ways, 40-36 over Christian Light. He'll be over the moon with that. 